I, I used to have a very strong habit as a child to to, to thank God. I would thank God in, in a childish way. And, and I would go to bed and at night I would thank God for all sorts of things that I had liked that had been nice that day or for my mother and my father. And, and I would, in this very childish way, it was a very strong habit. And I notice sometimes it comes back now. And I say out loud, like I did when I was a seven-year-old boy, oh, thank you, God. Literally, it just, just comes up out loud like that. It, so it's a very strong childlike habit. which is not a problem but as we as you say as we move f from a, a a bhakti orientated path where there, where there was always an inside self that was expressing gratitude or devotion towards an outside object or person or, or god or so and these two arise together the inside self and the outside other they arise together. If one dissolves, if the sense of there being nothing or nobody out there yes. to thank, if this, if that one, the object dissolves, th this one must dissolve with it, because they're they're two sides of the same coin. You can't have an inside self without an outside other, and you can't have an outside yes. God without an inside yes. self. So, it doesn't really matter which which one we explore. It doesn't matter whether the, the so-called outside God dissolves first. Because it, when it does dissolve, this one will dissolve behind the scenes. Or we explore the inside self and we see that that is non-existent. And then this one will dissolve behind the scenes. Yes. So it, it doesn't matter if in your case it seems that the, the one to whom you were devoted has dissolved. And yet there seems still to be a residue of an inside self that is going outwards towards yes. towards nothing yes yes it's uh, it's just an old um it, it's an old habit in you the, the, the inside part of this duo has yet to be has yet to be dissolved but i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about that because the gratitude itself is the expression of the dissolution of the inside self and the outside other. That is already the dissolution of the self which you are now seeking. Mm -hmm. So, it, yes, it seems that there is still, due to your past conditioning, an old residue of thinking, I am devoting myself to. But the devotion itself is already an expression that this dissolution is well on its way. So d don't worry about whether there's an inside self or not. S stay with the gratitude. J yeah. Just stay with the gratitude. Let it take up an old form of subject-object, if that's the way it takes its shape. But but just just stay with the gratitude and allow that gratitude in, in its own time just to purify itself from all subjectivity and objectivity. Mm till there's just this objectless and subjectless gratitude mm. uh, and when gratitude is is relieved of, of, of this polarity of this direction what is it revealed as just <coughs> pure objectless love yes that's what gratitude is it's love with a direction so as the direction <coughs> as the direction just naturally melts it's just just this love that remains oh. that's wonderful thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs>